Okay, hello everyone. Episode two, season two. Thank you guys for all the support from season one, episode one as well. And bring on the feedback. We want ratings, we want pictures, <laughs> we want comments. On um, If you're going to message us on Instagram, we want to see it all. If you've got any pictures for us, hit us up. And also our YouTube channel and uh, Pro Prep YouTube channel. Give a gander. We are doing cooking, we're doing tutorials, we're doing interesting things. We've got guests on it. So... <laughs> All right, let's go. What is happening? What is new? What is happening? What is happening with the Abbey? Let's go. Do well, you know, we sorry, bef- quickly, we had um, Steve the madman. Yeah. He came in. I wish I knew. It's, it was funny. I've always found him funny. But over the years, I've been watching. He was to train his brother. Mm. Um, yeah, we were, talk- we were talking about um, bringing this photo in, this picture, oh, oil painting. Really it's that, so that unreal. It's that so good. Unreal. So it's like it's, they paint my mum like an like an angel. It's like mm. looking over. It's amazing, isn't but it? But oil paintings are so hard. They take so long, and they proper cripple your hands. Like so, that would have absolutely taken ages. But but that we should, I mean, uh, we we're lucky. People are getting us some nice stuff. So yeah, mm. good. I got something beautiful to stare absolutely. at myself. And I got to say, um, that yeah, myself. Said this with uh, yeah. that picture is scary. Th- anyway, that's <laughs> it's beautiful <laughs> but also horrifying. Horrifying, I know. Yeah, I yeah. see more of the horrifying. And all the blood <laughs> at the top coming. I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know that's it. That's so crazy. But yes, uh, our England match. You went to the pub. I took took him down a pub for a pint. A pub. <laughs> and uh, do you know No, do you know what it was? It, uh, is it? The last time I watched a football in the pub, I was working in the pub. Oh yeah, yeah. And that was at Euro '96. Oh yikes! And it was it was a time it was it was when we beat um, Netherlands five one. Hopefully the same today. Hope, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. hoping that same a repeat of. Maybe what work working this tonight. I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna I be I be, I was praying tonight last mm. night. Just be never know. It's yeah. gonna be a painful watch back if we've lost and then we're <laughs> saying yeah oh, win five one no five one. If we if we get beaten five one then obviously it's not good. <laughs> But hopefully but yeah, it was be. fun at the pub though. It, look, it was fun. I mean, I'm not a pub person because when I go to pubs, because I was a bar, I was a barman, I was a doorman, <laughs> barman. I was a doorman for years. And when you're in the pub, I, I, I don't like drunks. You know, I, yeah, I can't relate to drunks. You know, I, I you know, I not, can't relate to drunks. So when I'm, I'm in a pub, and I see somebody being rowdy, straight away, my, all my friends, my, you know, sense are, up, I, yeah. I, you know, my backs up. I'm like, okay, you're right. If if this guy turns up, I'm going to hit him over the head with a chair, and I'm going to kick that one in the balls. I'm, I'm oh, really like Final destination. I'm, like no, 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 like like um, um, the equalizer. I'm always <laughs> oh, know exactly. Yeah. I'm going to know exactly what I'm going to do. Right, that one I'm going to hit him with that. That one I'm going to trip him. I'm going to trip this one if it comes. This one go up. I'm going to chuck it on with his face. I know exactly what I'm, I'm, that my my plan is if I'm in a pub and the kicks up because that's a doorman okay. thing. This is a bit of a niche thought, but <laughs> I've seen it on TikTok. But did you ever, in school, you went to maths, yeah, right? Did they have, like, big lights on the top in, in maths, in the church? No, you went to school. I didn't went to school in Africa. We didn't have that kind oh, of right. maths. But and I'm not, I'm not a Catholic. You're, school. School. Oh, yeah, You're not a Catholic. You're a Catholic. You went to a Catholic school. Because there's this universal thing with kids who went to church that they used to stare at the light and think, if that smashed down on the floor, who would die? <laughs> oh. I used to do that every <laughs> single mass. Like, it was my mission. And yeah. my, I still do it, to be fair. Th- th- that's funny. <laughs> that's, you don't look... That, that's warped. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like you find that funny. That's warped. That's, warped. You no, but, but, it's, but, but you know what? Until... Do you know... Uh, let me say something that's crazy. Until... Um, there are so many things that I changed since I changed my diet. Like, I was talking to my sister, and, um, you know, when I say this, people think I'm crazy. But when I did the dry fast, I did the 48-hour dry fast, and then the, the final, the, about three or four hours before I finished the fast, I was sitting there, and I was thinking. And then I, w- I was watching something on TikTok, and I heard the language, ga, which I hadn't spoken properly when, since like 1970-something. And I thought, hang on, I could understand it. So I called my sister, and I started speaking. I swear to God, my memory, it's... It's incredible. And I, I know it sounds crazy. When I talk to my sister, she goes, well, we can remember that. So we made a video. And she goes, but you can pronounce all the words because that's not my language. Mm. My name is Ga, but I, I only lived in the house where they spoke Ga for like a few months. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. And I remembered it. And I, it's, Post it's, dry fast. Well, I, 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 I think there are so many things that 
uh, we can fix ourselves, including even our memory. I mean, it, it may sound yeah. crazy, but we are not being given um, the, the tools to do that. Like I'll give you another example. I used to get panic attacks. I used to get I, I panic attacks. I used to freak me out. I used to get sleep apnea, and I'd get up in the middle of the night, and I'd be screaming. Not screaming, but you're panicking. And then your bowel mo you need the bowel movement, because I didn't know what it was. I've had it for years. We talk about it started in the 90s. All of that disappeared. Now, I try to wind myself up. Yeah. It still doesn't work. And it's well, because you do of my it diet. To us. It does work for us. <laughs> <laughs> but as well, you used, to <laughs> you used to have this thing, um, the low blood sugar, right? But oh. there was this specific time <laughs> where dad came home and he was like, <laughs> low blood sugar, low blood sugar. And obviously, we'd be real bad, but um, you would be like, Oh. <laughs> and you were halfway through peeling an egg, and you were like, "See, I've just got to sit down. I can't finish I know, this. I know. can't finish I peeling." I used to shake. I used to shake like no, this. No, I'm sorry. You were lying. You could have. You could have sat down and peeled no. the egg. No, but you, you, you. <laughs> no, I know. No. I've had low blood sugar. No, but no, it's not. It's not. It, it's no, no, no. It, it was. Can a, you peel the half it, of this egg? It was a it was hypoglycemic attack. So that because I was, what I was doing was, I was making my chicken. Think about it. I was taking insulin. I was making my chicken. And no, I Dad, this was, was this was not those no, 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 but I'm saying I was putting maltodextrin in my, mm. my whatever. Literally, just like, might as well just inject insulin into your system, body because what happens in maltodextrin is that... The, the, I remember once I made a, a chicken drink, I blended some chicken. Wow. I the carbs, you know, complex. You lied to us about complex. I was not complex carbs. Complex carbs. actually worse than sugar. And then I put the um, maltodextrin. I gave it to mum. And then she, she drank it. L she's cope, shaking like yeah, that. Yeah. Now, that's the kind of attack I had. So there. Yeah, but mum still eggs. finished working in the restaurant <laughs> and then went home. You can peel an egg. No, it wasn't like, I, I was literally like, oh, poor thing. And then when you said that, I was like, oh, wait, that's not right. Surely you could just sit down. I want to do a dry fast. And I, it does help the fast, of course, especially for anxiety. Like I used to have like, kind of irrational fears of things. And a lot of them have more or less gone. But dry fast, I really want to do. But me loves the water. But, but me loves Selena, the glug glug glug. Selena, Listen to this, Selena, guys. Can you can you can you just humor me? I'm just trying to. You see, yeah, you're talking to um, a, a former bodybuilder. Six meals a day, six liters of water a day. Do you remember? I was drinking six liters. Of water. Oh, you? I, yeah. I'm talking. <laughs> you're talking to a. <laughs> you I thought you meant you're talking to. I was like, no, no, <laughs> you're you're talking to a bodybuilder. I was a bodybuilder, and I was six meals a day. Now, mm. can you imagine? I've come from six meals with all everything that I knew about bodybuilding, and I have to backtrack and remember a lot of the stuff that I learned in the beginning with the fat burns fat diet. You know, fueling your because you're trying to build muscle. You can build muscle with fatty acids as well as carbohydrates. But we've been boys when you're um eat a lot of carbohydrates, you're um literally got high blood sugar all the time and there are consequences and i see a lot of these bodybuilders i'm like you know what there's an easier way so they build the muscle but the muscle is all watery and then when they go to cut they lose all the all the everything now now what i do i've learned I've, I've realized that with what i learned at the beginning of my bodybuilding with the fasting it's just amazing yeah, yeah, it i'm actually building muscle again <laughs> now mm. and nothing has changed apart from my diet yeah nothing the fasting literally propels everything but please if you can it's going to okay, take okay. me a hot minute to no, do let, let, no water. It's not good in the, in, the, in, the, in the summer to do it, but let's try and do, just start up, do a 24-hour dry fast. As I'm telling you that, you know, you remember I used to have I had this Veruca. Mm. But to be honest, I don't feel like I've got anything now, whereas I had loads of things that I was trying to fix. Now that there's nothing, I'm not, there's not that, like, I need to do a dry fast. But, but do no, I no, you don't. I, 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 I haven't I, got a lot of the things. B but I didn't realize it. I tell you what happened was I had a I had um, a Veruca. I've had it for a very long time. Remember, it's right deep inside. Say remember. No, but but, but you remember I was always moaning about <laughs> it. <laughs> and it's like right embedded. Yeah, it's every so time, deep. Every time I do a dry fast, all the pain from it goes away. Mm. And your body produces water. Your body, pro yeah, because of the way I eat, it produces a lot of water. But there's that a lot of stigma about fasting and a f mainly fat diet for. <laughs> I think with bodybuilding, it's they think it's for the look, but with a physical sport like cycling or whatever, they're like, well, that won't work for me. You need carbs or you need this. You can't not eat because then you'll be deprived of energy. The difficulty is you've known something all your life. Mm -hmm. It took me a long time. I'm a bodybuilder. I've, I've been training. I've been 
advising people for years. I, mean, I started um, coaching bodybuilding since, since 91. And I did it until 2017 when I thought I can't do this anymore. But to, to be doing what I'm doing now, I'm telling you that you can build a decent amount of muscle, a lot of muscle. We're just eating three or four meals. But it, it's what you eat. You're not going to be, and it's be, it'd be proper muscle rather than mm. feeling bloated. Now these kids coming in and they are bulking and they, they, they got like eyes are all puffy and they got like puffy skin. The skin is bad. They got digestive problems and they they got they're fat basically. That's because they're eating the wrong food. Now, I mean, instead of saying, oh no, um, this doesn't work. I want to prove it to you. You know, I, I whoever says already is trying um, um, nonsense. Let me prove it to you. Mm. Like, let's say for like for a performance sport, people are, people it will be so long until people can get that. Well, it, it's it, b- but I I, p- I believe I still believe that the tide will turn because you only need a few decent. And in our community, yeah. we got like we got um, a ra- professional rugby player. We got um, I mean f- um, professional basketball players. Mm. We're like oh my god. I'm filling myself with fats and I'm told, but we, look, you want, what you need, want is energy and you need efficient energy source. Carbohydrates, not an efficient energy source, mm. you know, blood sugar goes up. And it, so if you can teach your body how to predominantly get its energy from fats, then you use fats. In fact, and then like right now, if I put, because I'm fat adapted, I've been doing eating like this for years now. If I put a little bit of um, carbohydrates in my Energy. training, I feel like Superman. But because my, my body l- knows it's my metabolically flexible, mm. these athletes are not metabolically flexible. So all they're doing is just relying mm. on carbs, 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 and they walk around with blood sugar. And I, I'm saying that you can actually perform better if you teach your body to become fat adapted so that mm. it's running on both carbohydrates and fats. Because carbohydrates, like uh, fat, is like endless supply you don't you know you can just keep going with fats and then when you need a bit of carbohydrate put a little bit of carbs in boom it's like turbo I mean, mm. rather than saying oh, why don't you flipping yeah, try, try it <laughs> yeah. you know crazy <laughs> that's the you whole word that you do say that yeah no but 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 i, I think the other thing was also um <laughs> there's someone made a comment i get it all the time always your sauce that says red meat is better than whey protein i'm like how, how far have we gone? How far <laughs> back have we gone? You see, so when it comes to nutrition, right, there is no diet that's good. We see people say about the blue zone and the green zone. No. Listen, they all got good gut health. The blue zone, they don't need ultra processed crap. That's the whole point. Everybody's mm-hmm. like, let's go to blue. Let's see what the blue zone need. No, there are so many people with different. Um, hunter gatherers, there are still hunter gatherers living in the forest. Yeah, like indigenous who, who tribes. Absolutely, who got. Brilliant gut health, but yeah, the, the yeah. problem is that these guys don't eat crap. Instead and of they don't eat often. Th- no, That's of course not. People think you have to eat every <laughs> day and you have to eat enough no. every day, but you just you see when they find the food. That's what we're yeah, supposed to do yeah, as yeah. human beings now. But we they manage to, all these companies manage to convince us to eat six meals a day, three big, big meals, three snacks, and you walk. It's it's all nonsense. Mm. And as soon as you realize that the reason why one in two of us will get cancer is because of what be eating what the way we've been advised about nutrition but unfortunately um there are a lot of but look, look i say unfortunately but fortunately there are so many people listening you gotta look at the positive i mean how many young people are messaging yeah, us it's big, know, isn't if it? you look at that like i mean insta highlight story i put it all in there there thousands. are thousands of people thousands. saying eddie Even he's changing let's say steve today like these people get inspired they do it and then yeah. other people will do but that's what you were saying steve what, what did you say you be, you're inspiring the young when yeah, you're cooking. Yeah, absolutely. No, we, we are, though. <laughs> you're inspiring, the, you're teaching them how to cook, advising them on what to eat. And it's not about, oh, Eddie's saying that. Well, I tried what Eddie's saying, it's worked. That's why we get the, the mm. following. I tried what yeah, these exactly, guys are saying. That's it. It was so much at the start. It was a lot of, uh, I haven't tried oh, yet. Oh, yes, it, yeah. yeah. Where yeah. are your sources? Yeah. And then once people tried it, they changed from. Absolutely. Um, so, so basically, ins- ins- instead of just going around saying Eddie's trying um, nonsense, yeah. why don't you try it? And then you can say, but the ones that say, oh, I did what I, I followed Eddie's ad, I felt this. That's just stupidity. Do it properly. Yeah. Let me show you how to do it. So yeah, yeah. They think sometimes it's just have a few steaks. And but that was the thing with the um, athlete thing we put out. 
there was loads of people saying, um, oh, Eddie doesn't do this, doesn't do that. But then there was a few people who were like saying, I'm a triathlete, I do this, and I am on Eddie's <laughs> diet. And, I, and I'm doing well. I've got a new PB. Yeah. I've never performed this <laughs> well before. Literally. Yeah, that's exactly. You see, so we, many we, rugby we, players, football okay, players. So, so, so um, they're, they're, and I call them idiots with confidence because an idiot is somebody who doesn't want to try something. You just want to criticize it before you tried it. Now, I, I'm, I'm from a different school, six meals a day, high carbohydrate meals all the time. And then for me to be saying this, he's going, hang on, hang on, wait. Yeah. This guy is 60 um, years old. Why is he saying that? If I was um, smart, I would think, okay, let's try it. Like what your friend is saying, even though the, in the, the comments, in the, um, the, the video that you put out about um, we're going to have super athletes who are being powered by both carbohydrates and fats, predominantly fats. You know, there are people saying, oh, Eddie's ch it. But there are others saying, hang on, I've tried what he, Eddie's saying. And I'm, I'm breaking my, my personal best and all of that. It's the same. This is the way I train. I feel like like an animal. Mm. Do you think you could, wait, is there a sport that you think you could do now and be like, boss in it? Would you try? You've, um, you've never been you said that you weren't confident as a football player, but then would you be like? Oh no, no, I was very at football. I, I, my coordination is not very good. Oh my god, I'm, 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 I'm so I was at football. They put me in the goal. I don't believe that. They, they, no, because I had good reflexes. Let's play tennis. My good reflexes were good, so they yeah. put in the they put in the goal. Sometimes I, I was actually the goalkeeper for hockey at school, but I was I was really at football. Little I lady. remember when they take a penalty once, and I ended up kicking the the, the mud. And the team is like, oh, what was that? And the ball went, you know, a bit like, what's his name? Um, <laughs> Stuart okay. Pierce back in the day. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what was that? Uh, Gareth Southgate did a penalty like I did when I was a teenager. But, yeah, um, <laughs> what kind of sport would I um, want to... I just think, just think about it. <laughs> um, yeah. What sport do you think would benefit the most from the mm. fats diet? Marathon runners. Marathon runners. Oh, true. That's Mar a good because, because 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 they've been duped into thinking, oh, you got to put all these carbs in. Yeah, but the night before. The night well. before carb load, it's bollocks. Because obviously, bodybuilding is different because you got to engorge your muscles with glycogen to make it show on the stage. Gorge. But with but with ma with um um what's it called with marathon runners, if you start training, thinking, okay, fat is my energy source, not carbohydrate. Carbo it's not. It's a it's carbohydrate is the most unstable energy source. Fat is my energy source, and slowly just keep training yourself using fat because and <laughs> surely you, you got nine nine calories mm. in a gram of fat, and you got four calories in. Um, uh, anyway. And surely you crash a bit on yeah. in the night, and then wake up feeling groggy in the morning. Because if I have on our cheat meal, like yeah. sometimes I don't even have rice. I have like what I have is potato. I love potatoes, and um, on a cheat meal once a week I have potatoes, and then the next day I'm like. I don't, the whole I don't, day, like I, I can't cope. Like I'm just so not used to it. I think you're lucky. I'm. I'm I wish I was. I'm so I'm sensitive to everything. No, but yeah, but, but I, I, you, you say that you're sensitive and it's a lot of. Some people look at it as a negative thing, but your body, you're lucky because your body's warning you. Don't eat that shit because most I, of. I do like that. That's my deterrent. Is absolutely uh, is physical pain. But, but but you know I I used to remember I used to, you see every time I eat cheese, I get. It's crazy. I get pain in my testicles. Mm. But, 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 but it took, how long did it take me to stop eating cheese? I, every time I walked in the a kitchen. Good year. Every time I walked in the kitchen. You the, acted the, like you stopped eating cheese. No, no, I, but I, once in a while. <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> once in a while. Like uh, feta, I'm alright with feta. And gouda, I'm alright. But no more cheese, gouda. which, which, which I, I like, right? And every time I went to the kitchen, they're like, why are you eating cheese? Mm. I'm like, I want fancy cheese. It's mm. uh, unfortunately. Dairy is not one of the best things for Dairy's prostate uh, because I got anyway. Yeah, but it, it never used to affect me. And then when I was, I think about fourteen, I went on an Eddie meal plan. Uh, but then it was a bit of rice as well. Yeah, there yeah, were right, still yeah, carbs yeah. in it, but the things were like three meals, four meals. And um, then it developed afterwards. It developed the lactose intolerance where I was like, I can't even look yeah. at it. You used to be able to like tolerate it. It. I used to, it. used to be fine, no yeah. problem. Or maybe there was. <laughs> but, but <laughs> maybe a little bit of bloating. But, but you see, you now see, I can look at a piece of cheese and, and it bloats. And you, you, but, but you see, th here's the thing, right? Um, the, the, the milk that we get is pasteurized. Yeah. They heat it up. They kill all the, um, um, what's it called? The, the bacteria in it. 
and they homogenize it. So he really is not food, but we can't sell that to people, right? Yeah, but if you want to drink, even be drinking milk. Yeah, like, it, I, I cannot even describe to you how perverted I think milk is. Like, <laughs> I think it's only for. It, it's. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, milk. As, if okay, anyone's milk. watching the boys, actually, now I bring that up. It's yeah. like that. It's the Homeland yeah. drinking all down. Oh, that's like what that. I'm picturing. I mean, the boys, Homeland yeah, like yeah. drinking breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> the thing, but that, ma- that would that, make that more makes sense. That makes more sense. <laughs> Listen, drinking breast milk <laughs> makes more sense than drinking a cow's milk. But unfortunately, <laughs> you, cannot, you, can't, <laughs> you can't convince me because we've been used to it. You, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, like, the Steve um, came to the office um mm. today and we're talking he said um you know um you, you, i i like the fact that you stick to what you do i be, we've been offered so many different things contracts do this and uh, promote this and we said no so come here. no stick, like, every single sure, we get so many i get personally i get so many emails like do you want to do this 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 no absolutely <laughs> and, and, and we, we decline all of them we, we, we it's could, all we, like oh we, you got one thing that we wouldn't we, we think, could so we, no. we, we could easily say oh no okay like we, we got four them like on t- across the board we got about let's say um six million um followers we could we could say um okay let's more than that let's just you know just cash in and start promoting this because we get paid for it but that's the taking away from the message we are trying to yeah, um, spread yeah. because you had digestive problems, I had prostate problems, I had digestive problems, and we fixed all of it by changing the way we eat. And the, the way I'm telling, and as a nurse as well, I'm telling people that most of what's wrong with us is because of what we eat. Yeah. And it's working for a lot of people. And I, I, I'm not going to sell out, you know, uh, how many... Yeah, that's that's you going to Tesco and being like, actually, no. I was joking. I was joking. It's not that bad. No, it's <laughs> you can get some good stuff from Tesco, yeah, but yeah. I'm not saying don't get any, uh, everything from Tesco. I'm saying that just get... The proper stuff, mm. real stuff. You can't even trust it. My argument is this. If you go to the shop and you buy an egg, which is a single ingredient food, okay, they've messed with it because mm. you don't know, you know, if it's um, battery, um, egg, whatever. You don't know what they've done to yeah, the egg. Yeah, and even the wording they use with battery eggs. All the time, you know what I mean? They say from a happy, happy hen, hen, which happy means hen. nothing. Not, if, ha- happy hen, it means some of the hens, they never used to be happy before. So yeah. many different um, marketing terms. How for do it. you find out a hen's happiness? Do they feel exactly, like a questionnaire exactly. or something? No, because they know that if the chick, I know how do they find? Do they get the chick hens to fill in a questionnaire to say, "Are you a happy hen?" When you lay the eggs, it's both bullshit. So, so if you cannot trust them with single ingredient foods like an egg, mm. why would you trust them with the multiple ingredient food when they can? They're free to add whatever crap they want into it. It doesn't make any sense to me. You see, when you see a product and you think, okay, the yeah, um, words screaming at you. Just turn the, to the back of it yeah. and look at the ingredients. It's all b- shit. Yeah, because if they need to sell it, sometimes it shouldn't be sold. No, no. It, it, you it, can't. You don't need to market things like. A, an egg. What, like most impressive physical athletic achievement do you think you'd be closest to being able to do if you had six months to train from it? Where you are now, what? So, for example, running a marathon, swimming the channel, start climbing like climbing sprinting, a um, hundred meters. Oh, hundred meters. A hundred percent. That's who I could do that, because now yeah. I'm get I'm, since I changed the way I'm, I'm I'm getting my sprinting ability back, and I'm thinking, oh, that'd be good. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm and a, you need to really struggle just walking about. I used to. Like breathy. I know. Pain. I used to, but then. So many things you didn't come to. I don't know. Like, now I all could, that. yeah. <laughs> Do you think you might be one of the fastest 60-year-olds in the UK? I would love to test that out. Well, you like, of course you would. <laughs> you want to see me. No, but, but I could... It's, um, it or at least yeah. closest to how fast you would have been when you were younger type when, thing, yeah. potentially. Maybe, that's, that's yeah. the point. But then right now, I just think, it, it, may be, it would be nice to sort of try, you know, do a bit. Because when I went to the... the, um, the uh, went into the groundswell thing mm. i was running with um, um malika and i thought bloody hell it was so easy I mean, it was before when i was heavy i couldn't walk properly it's waddling now i can actually I run couldn't even and imagine it's crazy. running before like for, for for decades i've been boom, doing boom, this, you know, i see videos of myself wow. like wow so going on from that what is like one niche thing out of all the things so it can be anything in the world what is the one niche thing that you reckon you would score highest at out of everyone in the whole world so for example like it could be doing like a plate ring or something or i don't know 
counting to 10 in your head, it is what one niche thing do you reckon you are the best at in the world if everyone was ranked? Learning languages. A hundred percent. I really believe that because you see, I, I, um, I, I, I'll give you an example. I lived in an area when I was a child, lived in an area where um, about four or five different languages were being spoken. So I picked them all up at once. Like the, yesterday I was, I was speaking Ghana. And I, like I said, when I did the drive past, you all came, came back to me. Because I pick up tongues very easily. So I Hello. think one thing that I could pardon. Hello. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I mean. So when I used to when I used to go to I used to do a lot of work in Italy, and every time I went, I started learning Italian. And they used to every time I went, they said to me, "How come we understand you, but we don't understand the Americans, we don't understand the other British?" I said, "Well, because I I understand where you're coming from. Italian is a it's a phonetically correct um, um, language. If you see D um, S S E M I, it's semi. It's you know." Was Americans with semi? Well, they don't. They, if, if you see an I, it's an E. If what you about see an E? It's an E. So what about know. the word design? Yeah, no. Okay. Um, so the, like, like, okay. When you went to Italy, there was there was one of the um, people that went with us. Um, his name was Knight. The surname was Knight, and then the Italians were like, "Can you get it?" Because they, that's what they, they look. They knick, knick, and they say, whoa, 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 that's not right. <laughs> you can't say knick. And they say, they <laughs> can't say and I said, oh, so I said, right. I took, I got the pen oh. and I wrote N A I T S. Night, perfect. N A what? I T S. Oh, right. Night. Okay. I said, ah. Because, because that, that's N A. So, um, <laughs> November, um, India. Alpha, Tango, Sierra, Knights. Uh, I would have N I T S. No, N A I T S. Knights. 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 That's right. so they, they straight away they got it. So wait, I how would they pronounce the word mice? Um, mice. Oh right, because right. they're not. Miche, the, Miche, e yeah. Miche, yeah. the E is not The E is a Chinese. Yeah. Then, uh, then you got double C. You know, double C is a cut. I I loved Italian because I slowly as I picking yeah, but but, but 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 for any Italians um, when when I, when I um I went to show off in England when I went to show off and um I meet an Italian and there's there's a lot of um, British people around who don't speak English uh, who sp don't speak Italian I always go um Italiano see si? like, yeah I say aspetta aspetta bicipiti tricipiti you know, gam gambe, um, popaci, addominale, dorsali, pectorali. Oh my God! And you can speak English. You can speak yeah. Italian. Muscle but, but groups. It's not muscle groups. Because I used to work there. So I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Listen. Aspetta means wait. And you say, bicipiti, that's biceps. Tricep. Tricipiti, that's triceps. Um, dorsali, that's um, back. That's it. Addominale, that's um, abs. And then um, pectorali, that's chest. And then popaci, that's um, um, calves. Gambe, that's um, legs. And then, um, what's the word? Um, femorali. Femorali, that's it. Fem fem that's it. That's hamstring. So, so we say all of that. Was, they, they say, oh my God, hey, do you speak English? You speak Italian? No, I don't. I'm just, I'm just trying to be whatever. Mm. Cute, cute. Yeah, what would be your niche thing? You My one would be. I love anything puzzles and problem solving. Oh. Like I, I can murder a puzzle, yeah. and also a um, what can I? A where's Wally? <laughs> Bit too niche. But I used to be like, as a kid, I was like, boom, Wally, boom. They, people I used to hate playing with me. I you. actually think there's a world's Wally, like where's Wally World Cup. Is it? Where people compete in time trials. I'll oh. do a drive fast. I'll go straight there. <laughs> No, but 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 you know whenever there is anything to we if you buy something for like from from uh, um what's the word IKEA mm. and something that's oh flat yeah pack. flat pack I love so so flat my pack, uh, my wife and Selena it's like they're like okay I I'm just I'm just saying what's the word screw the screw I just like put a everything together tool. right do that do that do that because I can't figure it they 
like sometimes when they were young, they all of them used to get like a, a thousand word puzzle. They would get excited about it. And I'm like, how the hell is my brain mm. doesn't work like that? But we do like in the family, we love a crossword generally. A, a crossword, yeah. But I would go through, I'll go through any puzzle. They, I'm they, a slut for we, we, There's always a, um, a crossword. One of the things we used to do is like, in the in the in the toilet, there's always a cro- fresh yeah, crossword. Yeah, yeah. It's less so now. So less so now because you had a paper. Yeah, because everybody comes but in and fills in, and yeah. then you know it was quite it's nice. It's like a picture. It was that we a picture. Yeah. So there's always a crossword. Somebody always <laughs> like yeah, I get. It, sometimes some of them are obvious. Sometimes they are not, and then somebody comes and fills them in. Yeah, it's I good. love a filling. Yeah. When, when, especially when you've started a bit, sometimes I know when you've left ones that you know oh, yeah, for you other know. people, and then so sometimes I, I do it. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm finishing the whole. Yeah, I don't let me. Uh, your mum sometimes said to me, "Leave some for Selena." I'm like, Ooh. yeah, that was when I was Ma- working in the restaurant, yeah. and I was like, "Please stop! I don't want that guilt over me." Mum, I don't want to stop. So that. I go to the crossword, and I start doing the crossword now. And then I get told them, can you leave some for Selena? That's so I say, crazy. I know. So I leave, I leave the crossword. I'm like, I know that, I know that, I know that. So I leave it for Selena to do. I forgot that you used to do I know. That. But you tell me your I mum was like, like, please don't worry. It's not a big deal. Your mum would get um, upset with me. Well, we don't know the crossword. Like, yeah. Well, we didn't leave some for Selena. I'm like, what? She's like, just like... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not in the house. Is it now? It's Don't my crossword. worry about it. The sacrifice you had to make. Do you know what I mean? Sacrifice has to make Poor us guy. a guy. Honestly, <laughs> you can't do your one thing that you like to do. Do you know what I mean? Crossword. Sit on the toilet. And oh, do do you know what? Actually, we're really good at collectively at Scrabble. We so oh yeah, good we, at it's very good. All of us are. Mm. So the, the family Scrabble World Championships. You guys we, would, we, would enter. We, we, yeah, we, yeah, we're yeah, very good. Uh, yeah, but are, maybe yeah. there's some sort of father daughter. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Scrabble, serious. Scrabble, Scrabble competition. competition. They come up with some actually, crazy words. Yeah, in the um, in school, actually set the record for welly wanging. You, you did toss the welly. You did. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Has What's it been up? broken yet to this day, or do we? I know? don't know. I'm not going to look it up in case it has. Do you know what? Has, I said. I said. Uh, they were shocked. W- were they? <laughs> well, it's right. Were you aiming at a teacher? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it. I I I I, I, hold, I held the record for um, shot put. Oh, original. Really? Yeah. In the, in the, you yeah. don't look like a shot put boy. Oh, well, you no, look like a javelin girl. No, no. What I was a shot putter. I I did shot put. I did hundred meters. I d- um I did hundred meters. I did two hundred. Two, I hated two hundred. I played I like basketball. Sports. I played table tennis, and I played tennis. And then hockey. I was in the goal. We also we had to do netball. <gasps> no, actually, I did it as a club. But why I move with ta- the ball, man? I should take. T- I should take you to netball yeah. games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's basketball for bitches. I it's <laughs> the worst, the worst sport ever. It's what like you call it? Oh, basketball oh, for who bitches. Can I hold t- who can I pass to? I'm just gonna stand in one spot and pivot. Oh my god, there's nothing I hate more than <laughs> but, uh, netball. Literally gives me palpitation. I need to calm down now. I've got a feeling you're gonna get attacked by netball TikTok. For <laughs> I know. You don't want me coming for you. You make run. Be, be, <laughs> make a bit more success if you just dribble on the ball. But no, you know, just, that's in the game. Uh, yeah, the, the longer you have it, the more of a thing it is. Yeah. Like, oh no. Anyway, I need to calm down. It's, netball gets me angry. Yeah, I know. How <laughs> did we end up on slagging off netball? How is that? <laughs> um, it's just so, so I've always, well, I've always wanted to ask you this question. What What did we make you do as a child, as parents, that you? Hated the most. Oh, what question? Do you know, I didn't. I hated um, Taekwondo just because I was. It was just a load of older boys, yeah. and I was a young girl. I think I was just like really scared. But the actual sparring, I used to love the sparring. I used to just love beating oh, boys you, up. I saw you. I saw you I kicking beating. this boy in Taekwondo. I remember thinking, oh my God, you, the, 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 the teacher was like, "That's enough." She does a bang on the head. Mm. I'm thinking, what the shit? I'd never seen you. Yeah, do you know I don't. It was normally I'd when he came, it was a bit late. It's finished. Yeah, and I'd never gone that hard on a boy because I he went to my school and he was a tit. He was a big old tit, <laughs> and I was like, you know what tits she, get? I mean, she she was kicking him in the, head, in the chest, and I'm thinking, and the you boy's like, oh, I'm thinking, dude, she's kicking your ass. Sweet come up and. and <laughs> was that it? Yeah, keyboard. I mean. Um, uh, Kiba, what do we say? What 90s? <laughs> what, that is, <laughs> you have to be directly walked out of the 90s and then into 
a keyboard lesson. Why, why would you ever? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I love being able to um, uh, play a musical instrument, but keyboard is so random. <laughs> it's just d d d d. It's just synthesizer, tainted love, soft cell music. <laughs> I, it's funny. It's funny. No, but, but I have no qualms. I'm not complaining. There, there, there are certain things he that we wanted me. to. We wanted to. We wanted our children to play a musical instrument. We wanted, mm. <laughs> wanted them to learn the martial arts. We wanted them to swim, ride the bike. There's certain things that yes, really. criteria that we had. That be. things that we didn't have. We told we yeah, wanted yeah, to help children yeah. to have. It is appreciate, <laughs> but it was like um, whatever Eva had done. <laughs> yeah. Because they already had it there, yeah, which makes yeah. sense. It makes sense, yeah. Because but wait, actually, now I say that I went, I went to the school that Eva went to for secondary yeah, school, yeah, yeah. and I had her blazer, and it was <laughs> with a ten year difference, and it was it looked about sixty years old. This blazer ripped everything. I was like, "Can I get a new blazer?" Like, no, no, no. We got one. No, this is that, why that, you're going to yeah, this but, but, school. But, but, that wasn't me. <laughs> Remember one day I saw your blazer and I went mental. Yeah, I think I had. Um, worn it hard in yeah, but, 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 purposely. I, I, one day I saw, I, I saw her blazer and I'm like, it was all ripped inside. I saw, damn, we had to go get a new one straight. Remember? Yeah. I was so upset. I'm like, why would you wear it? Was, it was a different colour to everyone's at the school because it was so old. <laughs> and everyone was like, is, that, they, is this a new one? And I was like, no, it ain't. This is limited edition. Yeah. This, <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this, down this is first edition, first issue. And it's great. Bearing in mind the 10 year difference between yeah, in, in yeah. Between and and Eva and Eva had got it from someone's older, <laughs> si- older sister. So it was so old. It was so funny. <laughs> literally, literally. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, listen. I well, wish I had it, that. But I, uh, it's funny what um, your kids remember. Just count the building. Where <laughs> is that, that place? Absolutely. That bullshit. I was, yeah, I, everyone could see me in a crowd. <laughs> it's a different colour. <laughs> Zempic. We spoke a bit about it last week, and you had a bit. I saw a bit in the fridge, a bit of a Zempic in the fridge, and um, because that one is so in the fridge, cost two hundred pounds. Two hundred pounds for that. Two hundred pounds. Somebody Damn. paid for it. You can get it now. You can get it online. Listen, it's another marketing. Mm. You know the reason why they don't care what um, how upset people get about it. People are fat because the, it's not because they're not taking up Zempic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, they are fat because they're eating. Zempic. Yeah, you know what I mean. Zempic. And I, it, w- whenever there's a problem, we got an obesity epidemic in this country. We got type two um, diabetes obede- epidemic in this country. We got, we got everything. But instead of saying, "Well, hang on, what's causing that?" They're making f-ing with Zempic and then marketing it, paying all these celebrities to use it, and everybody's getting hard on about Zempic. Mm. And like, it's another. Drug. This is this is a this lady. This is this is the funniest thing I've seen. It's a lady who was an anti-vaxxer. Mm. She campaigned and campaigned. Now she's taking a f- Ozempic in her f- ass. Mm. I'm like, you're fucking stupid. She's taking Ozempic in her, but she fought against the vaccine. I'm like, do you think that yeah, there's the, w- th- th- there's there's no difference? This is all the same drug. In fact, I go as far as to say, if you're going around eating all these cereals and all this ultra processed crap. And you're saying uh, uh, you're an anti vaxxer You're stupid. There's a boy who's made a video. Actually, sorry, he just sent got sent to me, and he, he, he's, he's going to oh Eddie. He's had a mask on. Eddie is like an anti anti. He, he was promoting the vaccine. Blah 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 blah. He, I was listen. I've got a business. I took two shots of the vaccine. I don't because I know that my immune system is strong enough to withstand any kind of vaccine. But this guy, this boy is sitting there. His belly is out here. His face looks like whatever. You can tell. The that he's eating and he's saying that va- vaccine it's not vaccine you got to worry about you dickhead what you need to worry about is the other shit you're putting inside inside yourself <laughs> that's worse than the fucking vaccine but mm, you know it's, so vac- it's so stupid you just find something to moan about mm, vaccine well you, you eat it's actually you eat it, you're eating so much that your belly's out here you're hanging it's just your face look like the moon but still you want to go on about the vaccine <laughs> 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 Steam's coming <laughs> off his head right now. Well, it's, it's, it's so stupid. I, I believe that all the, with all the COVID stuff, I think it's a lot to do with insulin resistance. Most oh, of the yeah, people that yeah. actually got really bad that I know that affected them were insulin unhealthy were people. Unhealthy people, people you know. are looking for one quick fix I as know. well. And it's just That's the world we live in. Yeah, yeah. It's like we have to change your lifestyle. You have to change your 
Yeah, and for for example, to get as big as it did, it must be that people are just like. Mm. But but I know I know um, um, a celebrity was paid to promote it. She actually um, he he actually mentioned it to me. Said it was paid. It was being paid to promote promote Ozempic. It's a it's a marketing thing. It's yeah, a drug yeah. that they're trying to make money out of. But people are not buying it. It's, look, do you, do, you, do you know why you're ill? Do you know how you got all these problems with you? You're fat and you're um, because you're eating. Mm. Shit. Stop eating. And shit. all these drugs, medication included, they all come with side effects, scary side effects. Th that's even worse because they got this paralysis of the of the um, colon. It actually can mess you up. Yeah, you yeah. There's a lady who's been told you're going to have diarrhea for the rest of your life. It's bullshit. <laughs> no, honestly. What? She's going to be having this in America. From Ozempic? In America. From Ozempic, yeah. Damn. It's bullshit. But, 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 but why? But a lot of people think, oh, you know what? It's another drug. If, if, if you're whatever, if you're, what's it called? You, you know, you'd, Eddie, you, it's easy for you because you're a bodybuilder, you're more disciplined, you can do this. Um, some of us. I'm like, oh, are you listening to yourself? Stop mm. eating shit. Stop eating, start eating proper but food. But if you think about it, that is like an addict. Say, like yeah. someone who is addicted to food or addicted to cocaine saying, look, it's easy for you because you, you're not addicted to <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, no, 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 it's true. But yeah, yeah. You but see, you can't, can't be addicted to all your life. Addiction is addiction. Whether it's ultra processed foods, whether mm. it's cocaine, whether it's alcohol, it's the same. Addiction is addiction. Mm. Because it's, but I think it's even worse with ultra processed foods and sugar. Because the more you eat, the more you want. Yeah, and it's not told like yeah. it is. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's socially it's acceptable. Yeah, exactly. uh, yeah, socially acceptable. Like, exactly. It's like alcohol as well, though. Your you, doctor can get would you can binge food and alcohol, and it's like, oh, it's fine. just having fun. Your doctor will tell you, oh, you know, you've got to stop eating red meat because it's bad for this. But they wouldn't tell you that eating a bowl of cereal every fucking morning is actually causing you way more worse. harm. And you think, well, wait, when you say to the doctor, well, where, where, where is it? study that says i can eat red meat every day mm -hmm. where is it but i can eat cereal every day i can have um costa with sugar in it every day the doctor is not going to uh, complain about that they complain about oh you're going to be red, red meat it's also bollocks and i think what we're doing is making making people aware that, be uh, making people aware that you know a lot of what's wrong with us they are telling us that nine out of ten illnesses are metabolically related. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. And we're just adding more. We're adding more. We're adding more illnesses to the roster. If, 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 if you if you do if you go if you do an exam right, and you get nine out of ten, that's a f***ing distinction. Mm. So you can assume that all of it, everything that's wrong with that's what we eat. Well, well this was published on a website and its potential side effects. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Potential side so effects. Alleged. Yes. So alleged. <laughs> in, 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 in all fairness, every drug has side effects. Yeah, yeah. You know. But inflammation of pancreas. Yeah. Changes in vision. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that, that's that's yeah. that's been what, what it talks about a lot. Yeah, yeah, in vision. A, yeah. Like your eyes have a separate um, like immune system in something. It's yeah. It's it's it gonna. Is, it's even noted here on the. It says low blood sugar and then it says hyperglycemia. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I know. I know. <laughs> it's so stupid. Because people think skinny means healthy. Yeah, but that's 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 yeah. what we bought into yeah. though. Skinny yeah. doesn't mean that being skinny doesn't mean. And that's why you see people are very skinny, but they they worst things in the world but because you're not getting fat you know yeah okay. those are people man um kidney problems yep. all allergic reactions that makes sense gallbladder problem like why are you guys taking it <laughs> just eat well, steak man it's it's look it, 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 it's a quick fix mm, they indeed. sell you they sell you the crappy food and then they sell you the um, when you get sick they sell you it, it's sickness it's a business they sell you the crappy food and they get ill and they sell you the solution. They sell you the problem, the, the solution. Yeah, because that's, that that's just a normal marketing. Like the uh, most basic marketing yeah, tactic is yeah. create a problem and then fix the problem. And in the demand. Uh, uh, and in, in all along, they're making you paying. You're paying. Yeah, you're paying yeah, for yeah. it with either your health or your money. Mm. Goddamn. No. But th the change can only come from the masses. Because, yeah. like, say what you want. We are the 99%. That's majority, yeah. right? Yeah. Surely yeah. we have the mo most yeah. influence. And if everyone boycotts um, eating crap, crap, that it will make um, retailers stop selling crap. It will make manufacturers reduce how much crap is in their stuff. Like, that is how it will work. That's how I look at it. You think about, um, you know, if we stop buying the shit, mm. we'll be forced to make something else that we'll buy. Yeah. Simple. Like, we've got those who've got money. Literally. But then at the same time, we've got some people who... Um, mentally, they're too addicted to it. 
to 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 um, whatever. Ways, yeah. And then you got some people who are just too stupid. I'm not. I have to say that um, the stupid ones though they go with the masses. So they if, go with, uh, no. if it happens, yeah. then yeah. The thing is, if you if you can feel amazing, why would you not want to feel amazing? Yeah. And, and if someone have said to you, look, just try it. You try it, yeah. right? Try it and see. Um, do you remember we used to do Natty or Not? Yeah. So I, I want to get your opinion on this specific person, Arsenal player, Mazout. Do you remember Ozil? Ozil, Ozil, Ozil yeah. How, Ozil. You describe him as quite a lean, like He was small, always lean, yeah. Very small and then, 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 yeah. He's hit the gym since retired. Natty or Not? Does he still play football? No. No, this is, this is one, card, one yeah. he says one year of hard work after retirement is is the thing. Linger. Are you asking me if he's um well, just, just, just your thoughts on his transformation and also is he Yeah, I think he not? looks he looks whatever, but I I I I am a I was a bodybuilder for years and that's um slightly I next to Ronnie there's Kelman. something very little he's, he's done something to get that kind of hardness. 100%. Mm. That's what it's I very think. veiny. Exactly. You know, his whole structure, <coughs> his like face and his Yeah, of course, his jaw is changed. This is what this was steroids do to, oh, to you. I've, I've been there. Face, uh, I've been there. I know exactly what. I mean, I, listen, I just trained body, but this is the transition. That's why I stopped. Because you can see them coming in and all of a sudden you see the jaw. You know, no. It, it's, it's done something, 100%. Okay. Yeah, she does look like that. Even I'm thinking that as well. <laughs> yeah. With that picture. One year. Yeah, one year, of course, yeah. One year. Ob- obviously, pictures can be deceiving. Yeah, he may not really look like the that. P- with the picture I'm looking at. <coughs> this is a BuzzFeed quiz. Everyone knows they are known for their 100% accuracy and never incorrect. <laughs> uh, this is this personality quiz will reveal which food item you are. Okay, so, so you're going to ask me questions. Yeah, and it, okay. will, it will say which food item you're most like, apparently. Okay. So how would you describe yourself? Funny, sensitive, creative, friendly, angry, sympathetic, Have I got to smart, choose one? quirky, yeah. yeah. Say that again. Funny, sensitive, creative, friendly, angry, sympathetic, smart, quirky. Quirky. Oh, yeah, that's cute. <laughs> right. Are you extroverted or introverted? You can ask. You can answer both or neither. As well. Both. Both. Hundred mm. percent. Depends on the situation. You'd yeah. Say. yeah. How many friends do you have? One to two, three to five, six to eight, ten plus. One to two. Me and mum. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh on the millions of followers. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather than either. Yeah. Pick a, a random aesthetic picture. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. What one's getting your? Which one is it? Send me those. Six. That one at the bottom. Oh. Which one is it? Palm Springs at the bottom. Bottom yeah. right. Palm Springs. What is your favourite food? Sushi, pizza, French fries, a sandwich, spaghetti, or a salad? If you had to choose one of these. Right. Let's go again. Dad Not hates pizza. I Dad pizza. hates pasta. pasta. That I salad. Mean, no, that salad, no, no. Salad, um, sushi, because I can eat the Yeah, fish. I like sushi. Yeah. And the rich sushi doesn't have to have the rice or the carbs. No, it doesn't. That's it, yeah. Mm. Fish, exactly, yeah. Yeah, literally. What is your favourite social media app? Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat. I don't use social media. No, it's Instagram. Instagram. He used to hate Instagram. Absolutely hate it. He used it. to be like, Ugh. Do you want to know why? Posey. Because I used to train a lot of people who had so many... Problems. There's a lady who I'm um, actually two or three of them had eating disorders. And I'm like, be honest, in the picture, and so yeah, yeah. That's, it was so, so fake. Misleading, it's yeah. so fake, misleading. Um, the food item it says you are most like is an apple. Ah. Do you, do you <laughs> want me to read the, the yeah yeah the description? You're pretty basic, but you're extroverted and overall happy person. Ah. Okay. I mean, an apple. I don't know an apple. I don't know apple. Okay. I wanted to be a fucking egg. I thought you were actually going to say egg. egg. But um, an apple's all around. Everyone likes an apple. Yeah. Except us. I know. It's a staple of the world. Yeah. Exactly. Everyone knows what an apple is. He doesn't have an. Yeah. 
Literally. crossbred so much that it's like been genetically modified with the big apples they like last forever. I don't think they're calling you gene- genetically modified. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were just saying apple in this one. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> right, Selena, how would you describe yourself? Oh yeah, what were the things? Funny, yeah. sensitive, creative, friendly, angry, sympathetic, smart, quirky. I would also say quirky. Quirky. You shocked if I didn't, yeah. <laughs> Are you extroverted or introverted? Introverted, for sure. <laughs> How many friends do you have? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> is it yeah, three, three, three two? Is it one to I two, three to five, six to eight, ten plus? I'm going six to eight. Six to eight. Yeah, something like that sort of thing. Um, which one is the most aesthetic picture to you? Oh yeah, let me look at this picture. I like the book with the lemons. Book with lemons, right? <laughs> <laughs> What is your favourite food out of these? Um, <laughs> oh, I love sushi. I love sushi. Oh, French fries. Wait. Sushi. Sushi? More choice. Yeah, yeah. But I love fries. Tuna. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Favourite social media app? TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. No question. You are... <laughs> this is so random. Apparently you are a salad. <laughs> yeah. I have not had the salad. <laughs> yeah. no, like, the, d- the description is you're a super creative and your pers- personality is colourful. How is it? How, is how do salad? they know that? Literally. Yeah, but how is that salad? <laughs> That's not salad. Ca- salad is colourful. Cal- salad is Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. The descriptions are always the best. Do you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> it should be this such cool. That is such a lockdown thing doing quizzes. Oh, I know. <laughs> I used to, these are, this one's from 2020 and I was like, oh. This has been adorable. That was, Dad was trying to hide this are yawn you? there. He was yeah. like this. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. We've all been there. But thank you guys for watching. Dad clearly needs to go to bed now. But please like. Well, uh, we go, we're, going, we're going to watch the football. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you today, are. England are, today, England are playing we'll Netherlands. We'll beat Netherlands. So, fingers crossed. Can we get a score prediction? I think it's going to be 2 1 to England. Fingers crossed. Selena, score prediction? I'm going with 1 0 England. Beautiful. 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 Come on, England. Beautiful. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please give us a rating. We love to see feedback. And thank you for watching. This has been very enjoyable. Thank you for watching. (laughs) (laughs) Keep an eye out for our clips on TikTok, on Instagram. It is at BlabU. And um, yeah, we want feedback. We want comments. Yes. Go for it. Go for it. What are you going to say? Because I'm saying I'm, I'm enjoying it. I like chatting. Yes. Is that? <laughs> Especially when we say stuff that um, causes um, <laughs> I saw that video cracking Oops. up. This is about at like super athletes. But, uh, but then, like you said, there are certain people who are realizing it and trying it. It's Listen, just less people at the, the moment. Fat, fat is a more effective energy source. It's got twice, more than twice the amount of calories. And if you train your body to um, um, use fats mainly with 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 lots of carbs, like these bodybuilders, they're crazy. Mm. And the ones who have bought the e- my ebook and they're like, oh my god, Eddie, I feel amazing. I got no knee pain. I got no all this. Yeah, joint and I'm building muscle. One, I often do hear that. All right, and if you don't want to watch the full pod, you just want to watch shorter. We've got longer form clips on all our YouTube. So give us a watch.